Hi, so about six weeks ago I published a video on the then announced Suno Studio, which promised to be a door in the cloud with generative AI functionality for individual tracks and a lot more. Well, during the last days of my holiday last week, Suno actually released Suno Studio. So let's have a look and let's go. Now the version of Suno Studio that's currently live on their website is still in beta. It's a 100 beta, so it's basically a version that they provide to their users, but it's still somewhat in test and they are likely to fix issues in the coming weeks, months, and probably extend its features as well. Now first up, to have access to Suno Studio, you do have to have the highest paid plan of Suno, which is the Premier plan on their website, as you can see over here. However, it's currently majorly discounted and I previously had the Pro plan, but when I upgraded to their highest level, it was basically $2 per month more compared to the pro plan. So at this moment, I think it's a no brainer upgrade really. And just to remind you, this is not a sponsored video and I'm paying for this plan with my own money. So if you appreciate that, more about it later. But let's have a look at Suno Studio. So this is my Suno homepage. And as you can see, they're announcing it big here. Suno Studio is here. And to access Suno Studio, you need to click the studio section here on the left. And after taking a while to start up, you can see that it starts up with an untitled project. Now you may already recognize some features of a standard digital audio workstation, which is like bars and beats on top, time codes here at the bottom, transport controls here at the bottom, a main volume control, zoom controls over here. And here in the middle at the bottom, there is the so-called contextualized bar, which basically changes based on what you're doing and what you have in your project and what you have selected. And you'll see it changing later when I try other things in Suno Studio. Now, before we start using this, you may also see that there are actually four sections here in this top bar, which you can expand or collapse. For example, here on the left, you have the standard create song section, which you can expand or collapse. Then next to that, you have your library, which now shows expanded, but you can also collapse it. Then you have your actual studio part, which you can also collapse if you wanted to. Let's open it again and collapse the library. And then on the right side, you have a detail section which shows clip or track details once we have those in our project. Now you can also expand and collapse these sections with your keyboard. One for the create section, two for the library, three for studio and four for the details. But let's actually start this empty project by renaming it. Let's rename it to Suno Studio Intro Video. And let's start with the song that I created earlier, which should be in my library if I look at liked songs. Let's import this song, Fake Smiles, as the first track in my studio. Collapse the library again. And as you can see, the tempo has now changed to the tempo of this song. So let's play it. Do you think you know me, but you don't have a clue? Walk in these halls like this. As you can hear, it's a bit of a pop punk rock song in the style of Paramore maybe. Let's now have a look at what you can do with that in studio. And because this is now my selected track, you can see over here that it has already identified some of the stems that it has for this track. So let's insert all of these stems into this project. So it takes a while to generate the waveforms. Let's close the details again. And as you can see, it has now muted stereo track and I have all the individual stems or tracks available here in my Suno Studio. Let's have another quick listen. Clearly the same song. Now you can also enable a metronome over here in this track, for example. You think you know me, but you don't have a clue. Walk in these halls like I'm you can loop a certain part of the song if you have selected it in your timeline. Cool, Move your loop controls. You can also let the project continuously follow your playhead. But I like the original better. You can also zoom into a certain part of the project over here or use the zoom controls here on the left, like I already showed, and you can reset the zoom to a default. You can also collapse all tracks or expand all tracks, 
As for editing these tracks or stems, let's actually enable the stereo track again and solo it. And over here on the top, depending on where I am with my mouse cursor, you can see that the cursor changes. If I have this hand, I can actually pick up the region on this track and move it somewhere. I can undo that. I can also crop this region on the track. Or if I go to the bottom, I can also introduce a fade in and a fade out on this track. Now I can also duplicate this region if I wanted to. And if I select it, then on the right, you can actually see the details of this clip. For example, I could change color of it. But I can also determine whether the tempo is on the beat or whether I want the original tempo of the clip. In this case, that is the same. I can transpose the clip. I can change the speed of the clip. And I can change the volume of the clip over here. And most importantly, I can undo all my changes again here until I'm back to the full track again. Let's disable the stereo track again so that we can focus a bit more on all these stems that I have over here. So you can solo individual stems like this. And if we, for example, only enable this guitar stem and solo it, get this. I can vary the volume over here. If I double click, it goes back to the default of zero. I can also change the panning. And I can delete this, duplicate this track or rename it or add take lanes, which I'll show you a little bit later. Now, before we get to the more exciting stuff like adding AI generated parts, tracks, regions, if you like this video so far or find it useful at all, please give it a big thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps to spread this video to more people. Subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell icon if you want to get notified when I publish another video. For even more support, you can use the super thanks button below the video, which is kind of a virtual tip jar. Or maybe even better, if you're planning on buying anything at one of these stores, I have affiliate links in the description and if you click one of those links before you buy something at that store, I will get a small commission without any additional cost to you, which sounds really like a win-win situation, right? But let's get back to Suno Studio. Let's try adding an additional instrument to this track. I can add an additional track for that. Let's call it Percussive Synth. And now I can select a certain region that I want to add a synth part to. And as you can see, it actually snaps to the grid at the moment. If I don't want to do that, I can hold the control button on Windows and then selection is free. But in this case, I do actually want to snap to the grid because I want to add a synth part here to this part, which is the first chorus, if I'm correct. Let's have a quick listen. Yes. And since this is now selected, you can see that the contextualize bar has changed to create over here. So I can now say that I want to add a synth part here and I'll give it a hint on what kind of synth I want here. Because if synth layer and you can see over here that this will now cost me four credits if I generate this. So let's do that. And as you can see here now, we have this highlighted take lanes icon here. So if I say show take lanes, then you can see that it has actually generated two versions of this part in the same way that if you ask it to create a full song, it will create two songs for you. So you have two alternatives that you can choose between. So let's have a listen in solo first to the first one. Okay, let's have a listen to the second one. Okay, let's listen to it with the rest of the track in there. So now imagine that I like this version the best, then I can say over here, copy to main track. 
and you can see that this waveform now changed so i now basically selected version 2 to be in this project but if i really wanted to i could also for example make a comp of the two versions let's zoom in a little bit more i could for example say that for the first four bars i want this synth part and for the last four bars i want this synth part and now there is a comp of the two lanes But let's actually undo that and just go for this version one part, which I do like a little bit better actually. Yeah, so this is a newly created part in the project, which was created by Suno in the same way that it can create full songs for you. Now, if you like this part, but you want to change the sound of this, you could actually do this in your DAW by, for example, downloading the MIDI of this part. You can say here, get MIDI, which costs 10 credits. Let's try that. And as you can see, it has now created a MIDI file for me, which I could import in my DAW, of course, and maybe select a certain synth that I liked with the sound bank that I liked. Let's just have a listen to this MIDI part in Windows playback. Yeah, so as you can hear, this is now with a standard piano sound, but you can hear that the notes are actually very much which was played by the synth in Suno before. So you can just change the synth sound on that in your own door. Now, as for recording, it's also possible to add another track, for example. It's called My Vox. And go to the beginning of the project. And over here, you can see that I can select an input here. And let me actually select the input that I'm using for this microphone, for example. If I then record enable, and start recording here. Test, test, test. You can see that it actually records my voice over here. There's one take on this track now, of course, because I only recorded once. Let's have a listen to it. Test, test, test. You can see that it actually records my voice over here. Now this is not to the music, of course, because I'm not wearing headphones. So the music from my speakers would bleed into the microphone. But in the same way, you could actually record a new vocal or maybe even an instrument directly into Suno Studio. Now what would be really useful, of course, is if you could hum a certain part via the microphone and then change it into a certain instrument, for example. And Suno has a video on their site which actually details how you do that. But currently it's not so easy because you basically have to generate a new song from this clip, then get the stem for the part that you sung and then import it into this project. So I'm not going to show you that workflow because I'm sure they will improve on it very soon. And then you have a really powerful feature to add various melody instruments, for example, an electric guitar or maybe a trumpet directly into the project by singing the actual notes that you want instrument to play but again that's something for the future now when you're done with your whole song in suno studio you can also make an export of this you can either export the full song which provides you with a stereo track which is mixed with the volumes and pan settings that you have made in your project you can also select a certain time range and only export that time range or you can actually do a full multi-track export and let's give that a try. Exporting 10 tracks, this may take several minutes. And that would actually be my preferred way of, of continuing a song, which I started to produce in Suno Studio, because I would really like to have the individual tracks and then finish it all up in my door, maybe replacing certain parts by instruments that I played myself or somebody else played, or maybe adding tracks to it, because my door, of course, still provides a lot more mixing functionality and general music production facilities that Suno Studio does not provide at the moment. But hey, it's only version one, so who knows what's to come. Okay, and Suno has now created a zip file here with the multi-track. Let's quickly have a look at the format that it uses for these. Okay, 16-bit 48 kilohertz. That's basically like the songs that it generated. And if you import all these tracks into Cubase, you can see that these are actually full audio tracks over the whole project length all stereo tracks and all synced up. Yeah, so I feel that this is a very exciting start of Suno Studio. It has some great features which could really help in a music production workflow supported by AI. A lot of the features are still a bit rough around the edges. 
They're not as refined as from the doors that you probably know and love already, especially for editing and mixing, of course, because all you can do for mixing is really set the volumes and do some panning. There are no possibilities yet to add effects, EQ, compression, and it's certainly not possible to use your own VST plugins in this project yet. But again, who knows what's to come. Now a nice side effect of this way of working is of course that you can have a lot more input into what kind of music is created by Suno. You have a lot more control over it, which may also enable you to register copyright for these songs, especially if you start by uploading your own audio of course, to maybe build a track just from a vocal idea, or even significantly alter the tracks that were generated by Suno initially. We'll have to see how all of that pans out, but at least you have much more control over what is generated by Suno now, and you can much more use your own creativity to change these songs into whatever you want. Now, I also want to hear from you. What do you think? Is this what you expected for Suno Studio? Are you desperately missing certain features to make this useful to you? Let us know in the comments and we can have a little discussion about that. Now, I did recently have a look at a competitor of Suno, which is also able to generate individual parts of individual instruments using AI. And this competitor is called Moises AI. So if you haven't seen that yet, I will link the video over here. Check it out, enjoy, and see you soon.